this is Bobby, and in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to make these fun little t-shirts that are inspired by tie-dye. And I'm using the set Summer Lineup. You can see we've got just a blank t-shirt here. This happy is a nested image. It pulls right out. So it's just a blank uh, t-shirt that you're getting in this set. And we're going to apply these fun little techniques to give them the look of tie-dye. So let's get started. I've just got our Brighton Beach white paper, my summer lineup uh, t-shirt here. Using my Memento ink pad, I am going to ink up my cute little t-shirt that is on clothespins so he can be attached to a clothesline. There it is. Okay, now what I did is I created a mask because when I cut these out, I don't want to have ink on the edges. I want it just to be inside the t-shirt. So in order to do this, all you need to do is stamp the image on just uh, inexpensive copy paper and then cut out the inside where you want the ink to be. And when you're done using it, it's going to look like this because you're going to get all the overage on the outside. So um, I'm going to use this one because it's nice and flat and not, it uh, didn't curl from being wet. And I'm going to attach a little adhesive on the back, just removable adhesive. And this will just keep it in place while I'm working. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my makeshift ink pad um, that's going to have the colors in the tie-dye that I want. Here you can see I used pink, blue, and then pear tart. Um, and this is using Rosebud, Bahama Blue, and Pear Tart Memento inks. So that's what I'm going to use here. And all you're going to do is just put a thin line of color down on your ink pad, or on, I'm sorry, on your wet wipe. And this is creating your makeshift ink pad of multi-tones. There we go. And you want to keep them pretty close together because this is a really small image. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is from the set Monkeying Around, and you could also use like our set Growing Love. Any set that has kind of a straight line um, is the perfect image to do this with because then it'll pick up the color of all three when I dip it into my makeshift ink pad. And then I'm going to kind of create a center um, focal point here and then I'm just going to ink down and just keep picking up ink going around and you're going to see you can start getting that look of tie-dye. Now what's nice about this is I don't have to worry about going out of the lines here because I've got my mask around here and the only thing I've got to do is kind of keep moving my ink pad so I've got the right colors with the pink in the center each time. And you can see it's starting to give you that look of tie-dye. You don't have to be perfect because if you've ever looked at a real tie-dye shirt, there's nothing perfect about them. And that's kind of part of the fun of the look. And, um, but one key thing is you gotta keep your colors fairly thin on your ink pad so that all three will end up showing up on your, um, your t-shirt. So you can see, now this is a slightly tedious process because you do have to go around here. And when I'm doing bigger images, I actually use a brayer. But for something this small, a brayer doesn't work very well. But a brayer will um, make this go much faster because you don't have to keep inking and dipping and, and uh, putting it down to your paper. So, and here we'll put in a few more and you can just keep adding. You can fill this all up if you like. Um, I like to have a little white showing because usually with tie-dye shirts there is some white showing. And um, as you can see I can just keep adding the color until I get the amount that I want. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit here. So So you can see, to, see how that's starting to look. And if you feel like you're losing ink on your pad, um, you can see my pad over here, then just add a little more color, but be careful to keep your colors in the same lines so you don't um, 
you don't um, mix the colors and then you won't have the vibrant individual colors that you originally started with. Okay, so I've added my three colors. Again, using Rosebud, Bahama Blue, and Pear Tart. And so you can see now I'm getting some stronger lines because I've added more ink there. And just keep going around. So, there you go. Um, oops, I'm kind of off camera here a little bit. But you can see what it's looking like. And now when I remove this, you can see it's just perfectly nice in my, in my uh, t-shirt. So that is the tie-dye. Now you can see on my sample here, I went around more times, so it's much more vibrant. And then I added Copic and just colored in my, uh, the banding around the neckline and the inside there. And of course my little uh, clothes pins are colored in. So you can get even stronger tones um, the more you go around it. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to stop here with this one. Now to create this one here, all I did is I took the tie-dye that I just did and then I stamped on top of, on top of it with an image from our set um, going in circles. I used this image and I've also used this image. In fact, the one I just showed you was using this one. So all you're going to do is um, you can actually take your stamp. I'm just going to show you off paper here and you can make really fun looking colorful designs using your makeshift um, ink pad by just stamping right off of that wet wipe and applying it to your paper. So I could do that right on top of this one and, and so when I do that I'm going to get this look. And that's how I did this one here um, I just use different colors. This is using Pear Tart, um, Dandelion, and Bahama Blue. So I kept it just in those color tones. And then this one I did, I've got the pinks in here. Now this stamp here, or this uh, t-shirt here, I did the same thing, but I just continually stamped that same design. So again, you want to apply your mask here to your t-shirt. And then I can just keep picking up this color from my stamp pad off my wet wipe and apply the design. And so then you've got this look for that um, for that t-shirt. Okay. So that kind of takes care of this one and this one. Those are both done in that way. I just used the greens and the blues versus the pinks with it. Now this one if you look closely, it's got some circle designs to it. And this is the same as doing this one, where I'm going to use another image from the set going in circles. And I'm using all pinks, oranges, and yellows here. So let me do this one for you so you can see how quick you can make that one as well. Okay, so I've applied my mask to my next t-shirt. I'm going to create a new ink pad using the colors. Um, I've got dandelion here, which is a yellow. And then I'm going to use tangelo next to it. And then rosebud again. Morocco would be another really pretty color to use. So again, three thin lines of the colors right on a wet wipe. I use a fragrance-free um, wet wipe. I don't think it really matters, but this is the image I'm using from going in circles, this long line of dots. And I'm just going to pick up color because this t-shirt isn't very big. And actually, I'm going to uh, do these on to be vertical. And I'm just going to start putting my dots in. Now, I like, because this is a little bit longer, I'm going to go three times on my pad so I have more coverage. It'll go quicker. And just put these right in. Now I'm noticing that I need more ink because my ink isn't strong enough on my t-shirt. So apply more ink to your pad. Oh, really put a lot on that one. I'm going to have a lot of orange on this uh, t-shirt, I believe. And then my yellow. And then I'm going to go 
One, two, and three. I'm gonna get a lot stronger color by doing that. And again, I think the fun of this is that it's not perfect. Um, some are gonna be lighter than others, and that's part of the look. Otherwise, it would just look like polka dots. This way, it looks more like a tie-dye design that you put on your shirt. Put a little bit darker ones down the front. And I'm gonna do one more right next to it. And then when I pull off my mask, I've got that t-shirt. And so you can see here's the one I did earlier today and then here is the one that I just did here. Um, and each one's gonna be different. Now I've got a fairly light little area here, just that one dot didn't come out and I find that to be just a little distracting. So I'm gonna put my mask, my repositionable mask back on and then I can just get in there and do a dot. And so then it's covered in there and I didn't have my mask on perfectly but now um, again I colored in the band here and also colored in the inside of the fabric just to add a little more pop of color for my t-shirt but that is this design now the one that I showed you here it's the dots are much more faded all I did there is I just colored over the orange dots with a lighter orange to make it more muted. And then I used my white pen um, and added just some extra dots and then my Copics for some additional color. So that is these five t-shirts. Um, and then this, this card, to finish it off, I'm using Perfect Partners. I love the little birds in this set. And I just put them on the line and it says everything is warmer and brighter with a friend by your side. So I thought that was cute. And then this one, I used my Le Pen marker and just made my clothesline kind of twisted and fun looking. Added Happy Birthday from one of our new mail sets and colored them all in. Also popped them with um, some dimensional dots. And that's these two cards here. So, fun for the summer. Now, something that's fun to do when you've got these makeshift ink pads done, you know, when you've used them now for your different images, is to actually just use them to apply color to your backgrounds. So, for example, here I did uh, some greens and I've got a little blue in here. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. So, just take your paper then and use up all that extra ink. This here happens to have Bahama Blue and Pear Tart from earlier I used it. You can just apply this going down your paper and make, now this one has more blue in the, than the one I used there, but I can make all these really cool backgrounds by simply by applying my extra ink to the paper. And so here's this one that I've done. Okay, now this one that I showed you earlier with the t-shirts has a little bit more yellow and green to it. This one has more of the blue and a stronger green. So each time, now if I went and did another sheet using the same colors, it's obviously going to come out lighter because I don't have as much ink. And I also think it's kind of fun when you leave some of it like this and um, kind of creates a little design too. So let me show you, for example, on this card, I took the end edges like this, where I've got this kind of ending here, and I cut that and then I stamped the word celebrate from the set Strokes of Wisdom. Now this background, all I did here, and let me show you that, it's kind of a checkerboard or a little bit of a plaid. All you do to accomplish that is, and I'm gonna use this one now, this extra pad that I created, or this wet wipe with color, is you're just gonna go one way and add your color. And then you can turn it this direction, add more color, and as you can see, you're gonna to start to get kind of a plaid design on your background. And it's also really vivid because you're putting a lot of ink on it. So this kind of gave me this background here, and then the edges here was just an extra piece that I had cut off at the bottom of one of these backgrounds that I had just inked up. Okay, um, 
Here's another example where I created these towels, again using the set Summer Lineup, and I took the towel and stamped it in black right over one of these. So it'd be like taking this and stamping my my towel on top of it, and then you get these fun designs. And if you stamp it this way, of course, you're going to have horizontal lines like this one. If you stamp it this way, you're going to have vertical lines. And then you can also take a Copic and make them even stronger to have real or color in part of the images, and you get that look. So that's using the beach towel again from the set summer lineup. Um, and then I added just natural twine up here for the clothesline. This background is simply done by taking a sheet, use this one here, and just doing part of the sheet like this. And again, I'm using up all that ink so it doesn't go to waste and creating really fun backgrounds. And this is how you get that look. Now this one has a little more pink in it. This has more oranges and yellows. Again, each time it's going to be a little different. And you can kind of decide what you want that to look like. Okay. Um, and then this one here I did, again, using the towels and the bikinis, all from the set summer lineup. You can see where my head was at this weekend. It was all about summer. And I, um, I actually popped one of the towels and added twine, uh, kind of to create more of a bath towel sort of look with the fringe. But the background also is done just with lighter, less color on my wet wipe. So if I took this wet wipe that I just used and applied it to my paper, and I'm going to just pull a scrap piece here, you know, I'm going to start getting less color. And I can even go this way and make really fun designs, but it's much muted than when I had the really intense ink on it. So that is how I created the background here. And then I just stamped in black right on top of my background, colored in the little designs um, on the bikini uh, swimsuit with my Copics, and also um, colored these in using my... Um, my really deep orange, um, I believe it's an RO8 that I used there, and then added the Baker's Twine. So that's that one. Um, the next thing I did is you can also, oh, here's another one. Again, just making it more spotted around the edges and using my color. So let me show you that real quick. To do this little background here, again I'm using the, I'm going to use the blue and green one, so it's similar to the one you're looking at, and you can just dabble around in color and kind of switch it up so it doesn't have a noticeable pattern. And if you want it to be more intense in color, like mine is here, then just add a little more color or, you know, uh, really apply pressure because then it's going to get more of the ink out of your wet wipe. And that's all you do there. And so you get, and then when you stamp on top of it with a really dark black, like I've done here, this is using the set Feel the Beat, um, you get, you know, a really beautiful contrast. And it's kind of fun to keep the inside white just again for more contrast. But that's how that is done. Then the other thing that's really fun to do is to use um, various. Uh, embossing folders. So for example here I did the same thing using our um, our birch tree embossing folder and I just applied ink over the embossed image and you can see you get some color in the recessed areas but it's more prominent in the areas that are raised so that design really comes to life when you add the color and again all you're doing is you're taking your wet wipe and you're just applying it over the embossed image like this one here. Here's another one um, where I actually use the flip-flops again from the set Perfect Partners. This is a very popular set um, that we have that you can rent or purchase, but it's using the flip-flops here. You remember the birds that you saw earlier. Colored those in with Copics, um, added a little pearl pen to raise the centers of the flowers. And then the design back here is again doing that sort of sp um, splotching motion. But what I did is I used 
two different wet wipes that had different color tones on them and did them in a horizontal fashion so that I would get this kind of spotted horizontally look and then you could see the cool colors and then the warm tones, warm tones, cool colors. And then the flip flops were just colored in to match. This is using the tree trunk one, and here's our little t-shirt again. And you can see I just splotched color on the T, and then I just added the smile face. And he could probably be colored in in yellow just to even make him stronger. But I brayered the color, so I took my wet wipe that was like this, and I used my brayer by, and picked up color and lightly brayered over the design. Um, to get the look of the tree to be really pronounced. But you could also just splotch with your wet wipe and be careful not to apply too much um, pressure because then you can keep all the recessed areas white and then the raised areas will get the color from your, um, from your makeshift pad. Um, this is using Flower Frenzy and then our little cat from Catitude. But again, just splotched over the flowers and you can see I used all sorts of colors on this one using the cool tones and the warm tones. And it just makes the flowers more pronounced, which is kind of fun. And uh, a nice little background for their little cat. I also cut off an extra piece of one of my sheets that was half, um, I think I've got that one sheet here, this, and I just cut off a, a piece of it that I didn't need, and I thought, well, that would be a really nice place to kind of rest my kitten or my cat here and add a little bit more color to the, to the card and create a little more focus on the cat since the background is slightly busy. This is using our double dot embossing folder. Again, just splotched color on in the yellows, um, Pear Tart and Bahama Blue. And then goes with um, our Somerset uh, Beach Gal. We've got a really cute surfboard in that set. And I colored those all up to match. It says catch some rays, waves, and Zs. And just makes for a really vibrant background for these cute little surfboards that have been all decked out with Copics. And then I also use my white pen here, you can see, to add dots and uh, chevron patterns and, and vertical lines and such. So another fun use. So hopefully, um, you know, going from the tie-dye look that we showed you earlier to using your excess inks on your bossing folders and creating really unique backgrounds for your designs. Hopefully this gives you another use for those inks and um, and you know, kind of gives you a little inspiration to create these bright, colorful designs that I'm showing today. Mm -hmm.